Listen to this. Five reasons women lose when it comes to relationships. Number one, y'all base the whole relationship on potential. A lot of the times the men haven't shown you who you want them to be, but yet and still you believe there's potential that they could be who you want them to be. You're basically forcing someone to be what you want rather than accepting that that person is not. Sometimes you waste your time by trying to invest energy into something that's not meant to be. A person is not wanting to be successful. A person is not becoming the greatest version of himself as a man. Then there's nothing you can do. Sometimes you have to accept that that person is who they are and stop basing your whole relationship on the potential. Number two, you guys base everything on words. The action don't match the words, but yet still the words are what matter to you guys so much. A lot of times men tell you hopes, dreams, and uh, uh, what they want you and them to be, and you guys go for it. The actions never match up, but they never in line, but yet still you guys overly value words. Words mean so much to you guys. You got to start learning that words don't mean anything. It's the action that means more than words. Number three, a lot of women don't have realistic expectations. They really allow themselves to believe that the man is supposed to do this and the man is supposed to do that. Listen, ladies, I understand there are some women that get men to do everything for them. But sometimes you have to be able to evaluate who you are and who they are and start saying to yourself, my expectations may be a little bit too high. Sometimes you say things like men are no good. But sometimes y'all have some very, very, very unrealistic expectations. You expect a man to fly to the moon and get you the stars in the, in the galaxy. But yet still, you won't even give him the grass on earth. Come on. Number four, there are two values. If a woman tells you that she's a 10 and she believes that she's a 10, that's, she's entitled to that opinion. But the problem is, there's another value that some women overvalue themselves on. It's called dating market value. You have to understand it's not the same things. You can say that you are a 10 when it comes to your looks. You have every right to say that. You believe highly in yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. But when it comes to dating market value, that's when you have to have realistic thoughts. You got to say to yourself like, wait, I can't pull this kind of guy because I am not this kind of woman. But sometimes women don't think like that. Sometimes you guys think you're more valuable in the dating market than you actually are, ultimately realizing that you're never getting that man because you were never that kind of woman. Number five, stop comparing your past to your present. In order to have a healthy relationship, you have to be able to get over your past. Your past relationship was your past relationship. And the person you're dating now should not be competing with your past relationship. You guys are starting something new. You guys are supposed to be building this healthy relationship, but always talking about your ex is very toxic. My ex used to do and my ex used to do and my ex did this for me and my ex did this for me. Here's the problem with keep saying your ex used to do these things. Why the hell aren't you with your ex? Hmm. Don't let that go over your head.